Welcome to my in-depth video review of the Hilton Puerto Vallarta, not to be confused with the Hilton Riviera Puerto Vallarta. Sorry for a little bit shaky here. Just came back from the gym. So this is a oceanfront resort for the Hilton side. The Hacienda side is situated next door in a courtyard. We'll visit that shortly. Uh, you have kilometers of beachfront that way. And if you go this way, if you go towards that pink building, you'll run into a fence. And when you get to the fence, you turn right and there's where you can buy your Mexican treats. Uh, a little expensive in my opinion, but um, you can negotiate obviously. And there's some good vendors there and there's some not so good, but they're not too pushy. So, and then there's some people doing metal detecting. I asked Buddy if he made a million and he pulled out his coins and he had a million coins. So. Good for him. This is a snack bar where you get your fish tacos during the day, 12 to 6. At night, it is uh, Italian, very good quality. One of the best Italians I've had in Mexico. This resort is two resorts in one. It's the regular Hilton side and then the Hacienda side is adults only. Um, I think they let you switch back and forth to both, but if you have kids, you're stuck on this side. Uh, here we have a couple pools that are heated and lots of chairs. Um, here's the Sea Fire Buffet. Lots of buffets to eat throughout the day. Hacienda has its own buffet that's only available 7 till noon, 7 till 11.30. Um, these chairs, people will put towels on to reserve. On the Hacienda side, they don't allow that. There's actually signs stating no reservation of chairs or they will take your towels. And then you will have to deal with the towel card um, people. And if you lose your towel card, it's 30 bucks, so I suggest bring your own towel and just avoid all that nonsense. Over here is another buffet. Um, well, just for breakfast. At night, it is the French restaurant, which we weren't too happy with. Throughout the resort, lots of uh, washrooms, clean, lots of things to do. I haven't checked this breakfast buffet out because we've been at the Hacienda side. So that's all good. This is the main lobby for the Hilton. If you follow the sign up here, which we'll do right now, just because it's such a awesome thing that nobody told me about. This is a free coffee shop, superior to Starbucks. Without the Starbucks name or prices, you get uh, your fancy coffees for free. And it's from a real espresso machine that is made in Italy. I haven't heard anybody else tell you that. If you want to get a real espresso, you got to get it from a machine that's from Italy. I don't know why, but when you get an espresso from a machine made in North America or China, it's absolutely garbage. I think it's something to do with the steam pressure and the temperature. Uh, so. As you can see, there's already a lineup. That chick's been there since an hour ago. They're really good here, really quick. And they're doing some construction here, I guess. They're always doing some construction around this place, but they don't bother you. So we're gonna head past the gym here, which is adequate, but not fantastic. No Olympic weights, just the bare bones hotel type gym. This is very easy to navigate around this place very efficiently. So here's your bridge to the Hacienda side. Very easy to get over there, no big deal. And that's only one of two ways to go to the Hacienda side. In here, we have the gym, which is open to both the Hacienda and the regular side. There's only one gym. And you can see it's a good selection of everything. Um, I really like the cable machine over in the corner there. Lots of weight there. If you could max that out, you're doing good. So let's take a little walk through the lobby and try and uh, expedite my review because I tend to talk a lot about nothing. So very cool through here, nice breezeway. Got everything nice and clean. Whatever deficiencies were existing, they were always on top of. La Bonita, cutie, I guess that means in Spanish. 
just learn a, learn a couple words and you'll be off to the races. Um, it is March right now and they said the resort's at 90% capacity, but you never have to wait for anything. Hello, hello, <laughs> on the move. And another one, on the move. I'm gonna have to give you a speeding ticket. <laughs> she got it, she got it. So there's a couple of little stores here. Um, I avoid those at all costs because there's a Mexican Walmart nearby. Um, El Charchendo, don't know how to pronounce it. This guy opens around 10, I think. And they got daiquiris, any drink you want, they'll make it. They got all the top quality stuff. Um, this is nice breezy through here. Sometimes at night it actually feels chilly. You got a pool table in here with a foosball. You got lots of tour operators here. You got the spa here, which I'll check out after. Another gift shop, very expensive. You got the front desk uh, check-in for the regular side. The Hacienda has its own check-in, which is very efficient. Uh, checked in in about five minutes. Uh, only thing I didn't get, I should have got was a map. Um, so you got the Mediterranean restaurant, which was excellent. They have fried octopus. I highly recommend that. Uh, they have the Mexican we're eating tonight. They have the Italian and the French and of course the buffet. So I think that's a total of four a la carte. The Mexican is on the Hacienda side. I'm not sure if you need to be a Hacienda member. I don't think so. I just don't think you're allowed to have kids under 13 company with you. There's an OXO nearby you can buy, uh, you know, your smokes and stuff at, no problem. And so this is the Hacienda side, a little nicer. I think it was built in 2017, um, very high quality. We're not gonna go into the room because uh, you can view the rooms on the website and uh, that's all good. So bellboys are always here, no problem. Taxis are always nearby. They'll call you one if you need one. Um, these guys are more than competent. And the library here with internet access, computers, all this and that. And uh, you got your Starbucks here. It's free. If you if you just get the regular coffee, you get an Americano. It's actually just a drip coffee. You get a decaf, but they'll do a decaf Americano for you because I don't think they keep decaf on tap at all times. All good. So this is the Hacienda side. Very quiet at night. Sometimes you hear people yelling and screaming a little bit, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Hola. Hola. Uh, most of the staff, they greet you. That's the Mediterranean restaurant. I would say kind of a Greek feeling almost. Uh, I had the lamb. It was excellent with the octopus, as I mentioned before. But it's just fantastic. Everyone's friendly here. These guys are working hard. Hola. And uh, if you take the bridge, that's where you pop out at. So you can walk across or take the bridge. Um, eh, I do one or the other. So this is very quiet during the day. Um, usually there's like five to 10 people here. Easy to get chairs. Um, they got some uh, uh, mattresses over here. What are they called? Well, poplas or something like that. And uh, they'll come to you and bring you drinks and such. They'll bring you food, drinks, you name it. So we were in that one right there. It was awesome. Caesar was helping us out. He was more than happy. Uh, right nearby, there's a washroom, nice and clean. Floor gets a little wet and slippery, but for the most part, it's pretty good. You just have to be careful in the bathroom. It's tile, um, but this is concrete, and it's a little slick too, so just be aware when you're you know, walking around, it's a little slippery. All good, all good. So plenty of beach chairs. It does get pretty full. If you don't like iguanas, be careful because there's a lot of iguanas around here. Not that many, but they may spook you. So that's kind of a, a, a Greek Mediterranean name. I think more Greek than anything, but I don't know. I've never been there, but in my mind, that's what it would be. So here's another pool bar. Well, here is the only pool bar that I know of, like a swim up bar. It's awesome. It's a zero entry, I guess. Um, really easy to get in and out of. Lots of uh, whirlpools and stuff. This bar's never too, too busy. 
So they'll pop out here around 10 or so, 10 or 11. Uh, they got Modelo, Modelo, Modelo on tap. I tried to ask if they had Modelo Light. They just said Modelo. So uh, it is very good draft Modelo, better than American Modelo, same as Canadian Modelo. I don't know why that is. I don't think the American Modelo is as strong, even though it's the number one Mexican imported beer. Um, I looked at the cans on Modelo, comparing Canada and United States Modelo, and they're brewed in different factories. So, so uh, what you got going on here are these pools. Um, if you get a pool suite, you get the pool there, which is surrounded by trees, nice and private. Um, the pools are not heated, so lots of people complain about that, but um, you really actually don't see anybody playing around in the pools too much. So that's all good. Really nice scenery around here. Everything's really close. You can leave the resort safely, walk around, no problem. Uh, you know, lots of uh, North American people, just, I mean, can Canadian, American people. I know Mexico is part of North America, so I'm not trying to be biased. And so here is the Hacienda uh, side buffet. It's quite good. Uh, they have an, a nice omelet station. It is awesome. All these palaces just kind of circle around, don't really go anywhere. And people are looking at me, but whatever. <laughs> and so we're up on the second floor on the back side here, but our suite faces the pool side. So on the back side here, you do hear a little bit of road noise and stuff. But you know what? It's all good. Um, doesn't really bother me. You, sometimes you hear some diesel trucks going by. Um, but I think it's quite secure. They got cameras and everything like that. Um, I would take a poolside view. They might call this a garden view, but I would definitely take the poolside view over any other view. Because if you got poolside view, you know you're not facing the street. Um, about our room, they got a bathtub. They, everything's in the pictures. The only thing that was disappointing was the robes. We had to ask for the robes and the robes were like children's size probes so the coffee in the room is disgusting avoid at all costs and just head to that coffee shop like I told you uh, the coffee at the buffet there the Hacienda buffet is disgusting as well I think these are chess pieces yeah feels like it and uh, yeah so lots to do to keep you busy lots of food to eat as well that serves as a snack bar during the day from noon till 6, noon till 5.30 I'd say, because they start getting ready for supper around 5.30. And you can get your fish tacos, you can get nachos and cheese with uh, pico, you get a hot dog, you get a chili dog, you get all that kind of nice snack food in, a, in the Mexican flair kind of deal. Hola. Hola. And uh, I'm going to see us, and we're just going to head back over to the spa here and check it out. Yeah, but we're going to take the walkway just so you know how to do it just so we're clear on that but overall um we've stayed at Marivelle emotions and we've stayed at decameron and i've stayed at a barrel star in cancun and this would just be right up there with all those uh decameron's a little little less quality i guess but more <laughs> you know you get what you pay for um for two weeks with zero time like we booked one week in advance uh it wasn't cheap on swoop was about 18 something per 18 something and change per person uh, they do have the COVID test which is going away fairly quickly but we still have to do it they're gonna pay for it they take you to the hotel or I mean to the place where you do it the lab or whatever but you got to pay the taxi and I think the taxi is like five bucks so that's all good no problem there. Uh, we did the PCR last time when we were at Marivelle. It was a hundred bucks US per person. And so that was a total rip off. Um, but you know, what do you do? So I found the food quality very good. Um, once a week they have a Mexican night. The food was awesome. They do a great job at the Mexican night. Uh, what else can I say? The food uh, at the buffet for supper is not my favorite. So, Behind these walls are all the ones that have the really nice uh, architecture here. These are newer buildings. Uh, I think this Hilton is people, I think what they expect when I look on the reviews 
I think what they expect is Hilton North American quality. And you know what? Or Hilton like American quality. And it's pretty much, it's pretty much there. You might not get the same, um, I don't know how to say it. I want to say quality, but sometimes the quality is actually better here. The hospitality is definitely better, uh, but it's comparable to any Marriott that I've stayed at as a Marriott Gold member. Um, I don't know. I've looked at this place for a long time. I find the pictures really misleading. It is way bigger than expected. Uh, easy to book the restaurants. You just book them at the concierge. You can book two or three at a time. Um, this is not like a place for rich people, but it's not a place for impoverished people. It's like a middle of the road place. Uh, you don't see many young people here. I'd say this is best suited for people like 25 plus, 25 all the way to 100. But uh, for young people, it's not like there's no entertainment at night. There's no nightclub or anything like that. So um, overall, very quiet. You do hear some yelling at night, but prison fireworks last night. But overall, send it, try it out. Find a good deal under 1500 per person, including your airfare, I would go for it. So I would come back. Um, I'd like to come back with more people because it'd be more interesting rather than just um, my spouse, but that's fine too. We made the most of it and uh, she usually is in the room until nine while I go to the gym. So just come back from the gym. I'm gonna go to the spa now and just see if they're open. Have a good one.